Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are doing something fun and a little bit different. Um, I have a big bucket ready. I actually have two in case I need backup. And I have a variety of items that are going to become our craft confetti. So, um, junk journal confetti craft confetti, all things you can put in a junk journal or use on a junk journal to make your little clips or decorate your cover, whatever the case may be. So I have a ton of stuff that I've been accumulating and kind of purged from some of my own stuff to make up this great batch of stuff. So I'm going to change your position so you can look down into the bucket and we will go through what's going in there. Okay, so we're going to get started, and I'm just going to start grabbing things and putting them in. The only thing I'm not going to mix into the confetti is the um, little tassels for, like, um, your charm on the edge of your book or whatever. I'm going to make sure every single one gets at least one of these. And unfortunately, it is very, very bright, so I'm going to see if I can't get some... Yeah, let me see. Let me see how the colors come across. Once it's down in the bucket, it's good. So I'm going to start with these. These are just wood beads. These would be great on charms or just hanging from a ribbon. And then I have these really cute wood buttons. And I have some white pearls. And I have a variety of beads and pearls. These are photo corners in a variety of colors. And this is Brad's and other assorted little bits and these are just little handmade buy tags that are actual sticky labels. They're probably iron on but they can be stuck into a journal. This is Brad's and some other assorted little flowers and clips and things. Some sequins in there. And I'm going to put some paper clips in there. These are large ones. And a really pretty variety of color. Make sure they're not all stuck together. have some more primary colored paper clips to go as well. This is a massive variety of things. Um, that one should not be in there. But there's some clay bits, some resin um, flowers, a couple of heart-shaped stone beads, some ribbon flowers, some more um, beads and pearls. There's some little flat back blue druzies, resin druzies. Some more beads. There's a couple of random charms hanging out in here. And this is some like acrylic flowers and bits and bobs. You know, like acetate sheets. A couple of stickers in there. This is some wooden paper clips that are mostly decorated on one side with glitter and some gold paper clips. Clothes pens, did I say paper clips? Some of them have actually washi on them. And this is little glass tiles in assorted shapes. 
and sizes. And I have one little pack of these fun pom poms. And I have some wood pieces and more beads, some smaller wood pieces. This has some teeny tiny clothespins and some flower stickers. Some of them are felt, some are not. Some aren't even flowers. They're shapes, but they're like chipboard stickers. And I have a pack of sequins and leaves. A spangle mix. And I've got a ton of flowers, so I'm just going to put a handful in to start. I love putting flowers on everything. And I have some small binder clips, which are great for holding your place in your journals. And these are really pretty pastel colors. And I also have them that are blues, that are a little bit smaller. Stripes and polka dots. And I have these little... Um, They're just little colored circles, really. I believe they're supposed to be vase filler, but I like to use them to embellish my flowers. Obviously, I wouldn't put a clear one on a white flower, but that's what I like to use these for. And there's a pretty good variety of color in here. I'm going to put them all in. Because I use a ton of those in my scrapbooking and my journaling. I use them all the time. So in this cup I have some small paper clips. Some chipboard arrows and things. Some more little acrylic things. other small binder clips in brighter colors. I'm going to put some of those in. I also got a pack of the rose gold binder clips. So I'm going to put the eight of those in. I really love them. They are looking beautiful. I got these really cute beads. They have little like gems on the outside. And this is more brads on top. And some bigger brads. Actually, I believe this whole cup might be brads. couple of random buttons mixed in. Some little flowers. And this is some fun colored buttons. All this little stuff I use glue dots to adhere to my journals and scrapbooks. I'm going to go in with another handful of flowers. And I have some Scrabble tiles. And then I have a package of tiny plain clothes pins. And this is a couple of charms. Pom pom thingies. 
in darker colors. And I have some gems. A little bit of sparkle. Plenty of those. And then I have these square wood beads. In white. What else? I have a package of these little assorted fruit clays. Got some more minis in there. Put those in. I have smaller wood buttons or beads in pink, white, and black. more assorted random brads and things. And then I have some more buttons in browns and blacks, more neutral colors. paper clips in the more primary colors. And then I have just some little mermaid scale like cabochons. In a variety of color. Some more flowers. I have these cute wood buttons, florals and stripes and gingham. I have these little peacock like cabochon beads. Some little tiny round mirrors. Just something a little fun and different. I have just a couple of little glass bottles. Some are filled with little stone chips. Some have beads in them. They are glued shut and they do have a head pin to use as your um, charm. Or on a charm. made up some bobbins with assorted fibers and ribbons and things. So there's some of those in there. I have these little buttons that are gingham and um, polka dots. coming undone maybe. I did try to tape them really well. 
It was just the end I saw. And this has just a couple of little felties and a couple of buttons and some little metal charms with birds on them. Just a couple of those. And the rest of the flowers. And then I have one more package of the pastel binder clips. So that is it that's going in there. I'm going to pick this up, mix this up, and then we will pull a couple scoops and bag them. Okay, we're going to give this a good mix and do up some bags. I'm going to pull a scoop and I'm going to show you what you get and then I'm going to show you how I'm bagging them so it's somewhat fair and equal. So I may, if there's, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. So this is an example of a scoop, some big flowers, a bunch of binder clips, some of these. Everybody's going to get a bunch of the smallies. This one got lucky and got two of these. So a pom-pom, some of the fancy buttons. Two of the felties, too. And I'm just going to grab a tassel at random. I'm actually not going to weigh it yet. I'm going to weigh it after it's bagged, is what I was going to do. So, back into the bin. And then they're going in these four by six bags. So they're going to go in these 4x6 bags. I'm just going to put the big stuff in by hand. rolling away. So my goal is that each baggie is going to come out with a weight between four and five ounces. I know it's still a pretty broad range, but it is a mystery bag. So to keep it fair and somewhat equitable. So this one's actually measuring a little light. I'm just going to pick a few things and add until I get just to that little bit over four spots. It's tough because some of this stuff is heavier than others.
So there, that puts me over that four mark. And as long as I can still seal it, we are in good shape. So we're going to do a, quick, a couple more a little bit quicker than that. So I'm just going to fill my bin up and I'm going to put these on my Etsy shop. I also have ephemera and paper packs coming. Um, hopefully we'll get video for those up like maybe next day of this one and then everything can release that day. So, but I'm going to keep bagging and see how many I get out of this bin. Okay, so my bucket is completely empty. I'm going to run through real quick, verify that all the weights check, count how many I have, and we'll be done. I batched some out and took some pictures, so. Good. Probably keep one for myself. To, um, I'll probably pick one at random for myself to put with my stuff so I can show you how I would use these things as I go along and whatnot. So that's it. Um, I may go back through and just weigh these again quick and find that lightest bag to keep for myself. Because if I pull that one out, the rest of them are all above four and a quarter. So I can list them as 4.25 and up. So, because I only had one that fell under that mark and two that were right at it and the rest of them were way up there. So, um, hopefully you guys think these are a good value and you enjoy them. They're just, for people who love a mystery, they're just a fun little thing. I've ordered things like this from other people, like I said, um, many, many times over the years. So, um, just fun stuff. So, that is it. And I will see you to do the other kits next time.